Okay, okay. Hello guys. It's me, Anselm, and welcome to Anselm Restoration channel. And welcome to my anniversary announcement video. Yeah, it's been one year since I've published the first episode of this channel. It was the 2021 April's Fool's Day when I published and yeah, it's been a year. It's been a very interesting and busy year, but I think this year is going to be even busier and I come to that a bit later. But yeah, this is my anniversary. So yeah, one year of YouTube. Thank you for everyone who has been with me so far and subscribed and commented and gave me some tips and tricks and yeah, thank you everything. And, and the donations, I, I thank you for the donations also because without of those there hasn't been so much stuff to restore. But I've been a bit silent lately if you have noticed. And there is two big reasons. Actually, one is big and another is huge. Life's changing even. So, what's happening when nothing is actually happening on this channel? Uh, we found the new house for us. So, there has been uh, moving stuff to do and making the house looks our, to look our own and uh, tweaking and buying some furniture and everything. You know how the moving is, it's a time consuming thing. So yeah, we got a new home and that took a toll of my filming. And another one, the life changing one, is that I have became a father of my firstborn son. So yeah, that's the life changing part. I'm a father now, which <laughs> actually makes me a bit weird to say. I, I haven't uh, used to that yet. Uh, I want to be with my son and help my girlfriend at the house. So that will take lots of time. That's why I don't have that much time to do these videos, but I am not anyway quitting. This is just a period that we get everything fixed and putting things to their places and do the scheduling, how everything going to work. But now everything is new and <laughs> yeah, we are still learning. That is very, very big thing. And I want to be there with my son at his first days and weeks and months so i hope you understand uh, i have plans what's going to happen to this channel uh, i'm i'm going to do three main categories for this channel so first thing is the restoration which has already been going on the whole year i've been restoring every kind of stuff. But there will be also Anselm builds series where I do something new. I've already told you about that uh, earlier, but yeah, there will be own playlist for Anselm builds where I do something from recycled things and make it something or completely new like furniture to our new home and stuff like that. And then there will be Anselm repairs, where I do some repairings. Like one repair is soon to be true. I, uh, I have a little rust problem with my car, so I'm going to film that how I take care of that rust of my Volvo. So that will be the first first part of the Anselm repairs series. So Anselm restoration, Anselm builds and Anselm repairs. All of those in this Anselm restoration channel, but own playlists. Feel free to tell me what you think about that. 
are you interested in that kind of stuff? At least I found it very useful that, that I can do things I need to do, but tell it for you also. And I think it's still in the niche, I would say. Yeah. And before I go back to change some diapers, let's have some glands what I have on my plate and you can tell me which are which tools you are most interested in. So there you have it. These are things I have collected and got as donation. So let's walk this through. Here is this big sledgehammer which is pretty rusty and I am planning to remove the handle and give it a wooden handle and of course make this hammer part shiny. Then there is this uh, smaller one also lacking a handle. Maybe I am going to make those a bit different like uh, this would be more like a uh, Mjölnir, Thor's Mjölnir or something like that and and uh, this could be more like a tool for actual use. Then there is this cast iron which is pretty rusty also and it would be cool to have a cast iron when I cook stuff in my grill or something there would be nice to have this kind of a cast iron. So that's the one. These are the gardening scissors which I've already showed you in the farm exploration uh, video. There is this uh, two-handed file. You use this like this. And uh, this is not actually in that bad shape, but uh, still I could make it this uh, more cleaner and polish. And then there is this. This is actually kind of an interesting thing. Let's put this here. Actually, if you haven't seen the videos where I restore this screwdriver or this uh, very nice looking smoking pipe or this 1950s flashlight, feel free and go find them on my channel. I already published these videos. But then there is this. This is kind of an uh, interesting axe. Do you guys know what kind of an axe this is? It's huge and this is a soil axe. You, you hit the ground bead actually. You hit, hit the soil and get those bead cubes from the crown. That's why it's that huge. And I think this curved shape has something to do with it. But actually this is pretty interesting and maybe a bit even a rare thing to restore. I am excited about this. And then there is a one thing. It's this. This is the... Shut up. This is the wise from that farm also where I found those gardening scissors also. So this might be good and useful tool to have on my workshop. So maybe I am going to restore this. Here is these very rusty things. Actually this is kind of a pile of rust but Hey, you guys, tell me which one. Now I'm going to back home and <laughs> back in the diaper world. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your understanding that I have a bit uh, time resource problem at this point, but I wanted to give you something, so that's why I made this video but I see you in the next episode so Anselm out